Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 are the two most popular business email solutions, but which one is best? And are the productivity apps in Google or Microsoft worth making the switch from your current provider? To answer these questions, we first need to see how easy they are to set up. Both Google and Microsoft offer streamlined setup wizards to make it easy to get started. The setup wizards automatically add the required DNS records to your domain at most registrars. I use Cloudflare to manage my DNS, and they both worked with Cloudflare flawlessly. This reduces the technical knowledge you need to set it up, and it's not something you see at most email providers. However, it's worth noting that Microsoft's setup process can be a bit convoluted, because even if you connect a custom domain from the beginning, they create a temporary yourcompany.onmicrosoft.com domain and create the email address with that domain. After you finish the initial setup, you'll need to go back into the panel and change the email address from the temporary domain to your custom domain. Things are smoother with Google's setup process, but I don't like that the default plan you get when you sign up for a free trial is their most expensive plan. You have to go directly to the pricing page and click start a trial on the specific plan you want to get around this. Thankfully, you can go into the dashboard and downgrade the plan during the trial to avoid getting charged for the most expensive plan, but it's an extra step that you may forget to do. If you face any issues with the setup process, I'm always available to chat in my Discord server. It's free to join and I help out as much as I can. You can also connect with other members of the community, so I'll have it linked below if you're interested in joining. Once you're in the dashboard, managing your users is simple across both platforms. Microsoft's panel is very approachable to beginners. They have a simplified view on the home screen that puts user management front and center. They also simplify the menu so you can access the most common options without feeling overwhelmed. If you're tech savvy and want to access more options, you can just click the show all button to reveal everything. Google's dashboard isn't as forgiving to beginners. It's not rocket science, but it's a lot to take in, and it's a bit intimidating if you go to change settings for specific apps or services. Since these are both enterprise level solutions, it makes sense that the dashboards are complex and give you a lot of settings. But Microsoft has done a great job keeping these settings accessible for those who need them while simplifying things for small business business owners and solopreneurs. The dashboard is almost as simple as hitting that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe and click the bell and you'll be the first to know about new videos. After the setup process, you can start using your custom email. Google Workspace is powered by Gmail and Microsoft 365 is powered by Outlook, so you can expect the same experience you'd get with a free Gmail or Outlook account. If you check your email in your browser, a lot of this comes down to your personal preference. If you use Gmail, you'll feel right at home with Google Workspace. If you use Outlook, you'll likely prefer Microsoft 365. I'm an oddball who still uses a desktop email client to check my emails, so my in-browser experience is irrelevant. With that being said, I still prefer Google Workspace for one main reason, email deliverability. Both Google and Microsoft are highly reputable email providers, so both options have respectable reliability. However, Google is the number one email provider in the world, which means you'll be sending emails to countless Gmail addresses. Because of this, I'd prefer to use Google servers to send my emails, as I believe this will result in fewer of my emails going to spam. On the receiving end, I also feel Google has the best spam filter around. Now, I want to be clear here, the differences are marginal. Microsoft does a great job hosting email as well, but since both options are similarly priced, I lean towards Google for the unbeatable reliability. But it's not just the email hosting you should consider. Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 are fully featured productivity suites. With Google Workspace, this means you'll enjoy access to Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, Google Drive, Google Meet, and more. You get 30 gigabytes of Google Drive space with the starter workspace plan versus the 15 gigs of drive space you get with a free personal Google account. You also get access to Google Meet with group calls that can last up to 24 hours, but you can already use Google Meet with a free Google account. Group calls are just restricted to an hour. So, you're mostly paying for the email hosting with Google Workspace. You can get most of the same productivity features with a free Google account. Microsoft 365 has a stronger value proposition, including one terabyte of OneDrive storage with the base plan. Similar to Google Workspace, you get access to tools that are free for all Microsoft accounts, like web and mobile versions of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. You also get access to Microsoft Teams, which is a value of $4 per user per month. 
Teams gives you unlimited group meetings for up to 30 hours and a chat interface similar to Slack. So when you consider that Microsoft's entry plan includes one terabyte of storage per user and access to Microsoft Teams for the same $6 a user per month price as Google's entry plan, it's clear that Microsoft 365 is the better value. Microsoft also gives you a 30-day free trial compared to Google's 14-day free trial, though I think a two-week trial is enough time to get things set up and evaluate the service. I also like that Microsoft allows you to commit to a year of service at a discounted rate, but you don't have to pay for the full year up front. You can sign a year contract and make monthly payments. Google offers an annual discount and they claim to provide the same flexibility where you can pay monthly for an annual commitment, but I wasn't able to access this option in my account. When I reached out to support about this, they told me that monthly billing for annual commitments is only available in select markets, so I guess the US isn't one of them. As you evaluate the higher plan options, Microsoft once again proves to be the better value. The Business Standard Plan unlocks access to the desktop versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. You also get access to webinars with attendee registration and reporting. And if this is a feature you would use, this could save you from paying for a Zoom subscription. When you move to the higher plan on Google Workspace, you go from 30 gigs of storage per user to two terabytes per user. And you can also have Google Meet calls with up to 150 participants instead of 100. Now, Microsoft is already offering great value, but if you don't need Microsoft Teams, they have a few hidden plans that don't include Teams. The base plan starts at $4.75 per user per month with an annual commitment and includes the same one terabyte of storage you get with the normal plan. If you don't care about Microsoft Teams, this is an easy way to save money. Both Microsoft and Google offer free accounts to nonprofit organizations, but Google offers a shared pool of 100 terabytes of storage across all users. And this is different from the standard 30 gigabytes of storage per account with the paid plans. Google's free solution for nonprofits is valid for up to 2,000 users, where Microsoft's free offering tops out at 300 users. So in the end, which productivity suite is right for you? That depends on your exact needs and personal preferences. If you just want the most reliable business email hosting, go with Google Workspace. Gmail dominates the market as the number one email provider in the world, and you'll enjoy the best deliverability and a high quality spam filter. If you're used to the Google ecosystem and you already use Google Docs, Sheets, Drive, and Meet, you'll feel right at home with Google Workspace. But there's no denying that Microsoft 365 offers the better value. You get one terabyte of storage standard with all accounts, and you can save some money if you don't need Microsoft Teams. You may also prefer Microsoft 365 if you already use Microsoft services or need access to desktop versions of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. I both prefer and use Google Workspace with my own business email for better reliability. I've used Gmail for years and I trust the quality of Google's email hosting. I'm also used to the Google ecosystem, so I feel right at home with my Google Workspace account. However, it is tempting to migrate to Microsoft 365 because of the insane value they offer. But ultimately, I don't think the grass is that much greener at one provider or another. If you're already using Google Workspace and you enjoy it, keep it. If you use Microsoft 365 and you like it, stick with it. I'm going to keep using Google Workspace. And if you decide you'd like to try Google Workspace, I've got a full setup guide that you can watch here.